Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to find limits at infinity for indeterminate form of type infinity minus infinity. For example, you need to find the limit of square root x square minus 3x minus x as x approaches positive infinity. You will get a very large number minus a very large number. So, for this kind of problem, what you need to do is to multiply it with the conjugate. Since you have square root minus something, so the conjugate is square root plus something. So the next step is just copy whatever inside the square root x square minus 3x and then you add minus sign and multiply x with x you get x square for the denominator you just copy everything now it has become minus 3x over square root x square minus 3x plus x In order to solve this, what you need to do is to divide by x because the limit is x approaching positive infinity. If the limit is x approaching minus infinity, you divide by minus x. And for x inside the square root, you divide by x square. You have something like this minus 3x over x and for the denominator everything inside the square root you divide by x square and outside the square root you divide by x so you have minus 3 over 1 minus 3 over x plus 1 remember for x approaches infinity whatever divide by x you get 0. Hence, it will become minus 3 over 1 minus 3 over x becomes 0 plus 1 which is equal to minus 3 over 2. Let's look at another example. Find the limit of x square plus 3 square root minus x as x approaches positive infinity. We need to multiply with the conjugate. Since you have minus x, now the conjugate should be plus x. Copy everything inside the square root. x square plus 3 minus x times x, you get x square. And for the denominator, you copy everything. So you will have 3 over square root x square plus 3 plus x. x is approaching positive infinity. So the one outside square root you divide by x. And inside square root you divide by x square. If you have x approaches minus infinity, outside square root you divide by minus x. And inside square root you divide by x square. So the only difference is positive infinity divide by x minus infinity divide by minus x. You have 3 over x because it is outside square root and x is approaching plus infinity and then you have x square over x square because this is inside square root plus 3 over x square because this is inside square root plus x over x 
outside square root and x is approaching positive infinity. You have 3 over x over square root 1 plus 3 over x minus 1. Remember, a number divided by x or x square or x cube or whatever x power n as x approaches infinity the answer is 0 so now you have 0 over 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is equal to 0 over 2 equal to 0 thank you